my first guest I met who 10 12 13 14 years ago uh, he came up to uh, winters of drag ball he was associated with Isis Vermouth. So you know, if he's associated with Isis Vermouth, he must be a character. And yes, he is. Um, we've got a lot to talk about. He was a contestant on MasterChef. He had he was a, um, a, a guest on the show Chopped. Um, he opened up his own donut store and, and he's a filmmaker. He's got a lot going on. So I'd like to welcome to Amber Live, Mr. Francis Legg. Francis. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. How are things in New York City today? <laughs> it's all right. It was a really nice day in New York City. My dog was starting to bark, of course. As soon as <laughs> what kind of dog is it? Well, we have two miniature greyhounds. Oh, my God. Real little greyhounds. Yeah, two little ones. Yeah, yeah, they do that a lot. You were right with the impression. <laughs> so so francis yes we met many many years ago when you came to vermont for the winter is a drag ball that was fun you were doing some 3d photography at the time i recall yeah my 3d period i like to call it <laughs> <laughs> i tried so, to do some 3d music videos too but nobody could watch them it was a failure but <laughs> but you had a concept and you followed through that that I was did. that that was good. That was good. So um, what were you doing before you went on MasterChef, and how'd you get on that show? Um, well, uh, I was directing music videos for Sherry Vine and all the drag queens and all the downtown talent in New York City. It started with Caswell. I don't know if you know Caswell. Uh -huh. the poor. So I started with them years ago. My first video was, um, Is It All Over My Face? And um, I was making a Mel Sharon documentary about the Paradise Garage at the same time. And they, like, they crossed... Um, entwined, and then I suddenly was like, I can do music videos, so I did music <laughs> videos, um, and then and I got caught up with Sherry Vine, and then did all that kind of stuff, and then I got really bored of trying to make other people famous, and all working with all these drag queens, so I, um, I got convinced, or my wife convinced me to audition for MasterChef, so lo and behold, and like 40,000 people auditioned, so I, I thought I had no chance at all whatsoever to be on the show. But we whittled our way down. I went to Hollywood, which was like the biggest dream ever. And then boom, I was standing in front of Gordon Ramsay. It was incredible. So for, I, I believe like 4,000 people applied to be on that season? 40,000. 40, 40,000. 40, as you would say, yes. 40. And they chose you? <laughs> <laughs> I was in shock. And there was two Francis's too. I was really worried. I was like, in the final hundred, I'm like, what, there's two Francis's? <laughs> wow. Which you don't so, need. So, um, you that was season five, I believe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And there was one episode that you said, "I got this." <laughs> yes, the donut challenge, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there was a, a challenge where you had to make a dozen donuts, and you had to make three flavors. But I decided to make twelve flavors, and um, I really shocked the pants off of all the judges. And then um, since. Since that day, since that episode aired, I've been making donuts nonstop. So it's like six years ago now. Wow, that that is great. And um, so you didn't finish. Uh, what? How did you come in on that season? Where where were you eliminated? I would like to say I was on twelve episodes, but I, I came in at number eleven. That's so, fine. In Drag Race, there's only twelve episodes. <laughs> I would have won Drag Race. <laughs> good good for you francis so, so um we've all seen um um gordon's tv image is he like that in person <laughs> yeah he's the nicest person in the world i tell you like he has that image for a reason but um, and, like they really do play upon it but he truly is the nicest person in the world with the amount of charity stuff he does and he really will help you in all these other shows where he if when he turns up to help you if he's if he if he's going to help you, he will help you. Like he 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 wants to everything he can to help you. But if you don't want to be helped, then he, he, you can bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. That's that's cool that you know that that is an act per right. se, or that's his TV persona. But yeah. I, I'm glad to hear that he's not quite like that. Mm -hmm. So what happened after you um, left that show? Well, and um, the phone started ringing for donuts. It was pretty intense. So for six years, I made donuts every single day, like basically seven days a week. Um, so out of your kitchen? Out, out of your home kitchen? Um, no, no, no. I went into, I, um, I started with Gossip Coffee, which was a place in Astoria. Um, it was just down the street. So I made donuts for them. And then when they sold, because they sold for really well because of my donuts, I guess. 
<laughs> there was another somebody was opening another shop and they said to me kind of make donuts and the sugar and water which were which i've been working at bing, bing, and cue the picture which yes I've been working out for the past um year and a half two years but um unfortunately because of the virus the chinese virus it's not chinese the chirus <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't call it that. Let but. me write that down. <laughs> right, exactly. The chair is. No, because of that, um, we've been shut for like over two months. So it's been like vacation. <laughs> a sad vacation, but it's been nice. So, I've been in for a while now. So what, what's going to happen? Are you going to reopen? Um, I'm not sure. I have to have a drink. <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, unfortunately. I just did a great interview with a um, New York one with Roger Clark, and we talked about small businesses and how they're being affected. But to be honest, I don't think enough has been done by the government and all that bollocks. So I don't know what to do. I don't know. So, there'll be lots of opportunities, but I think it's going to be really crazy the next in the future for a while. So I. I know that uh, when you were open, though, you you made donuts for a lot of movie premieres and television shows. Yeah, yeah. The last one we did was Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> which is a great movie. But yeah, we do we do movies for the premieres, like The Matrix when they did the anniversary. I made this big wall of Matrix donuts, and we handed them out how to like take the blue donut or the green donut. I don't remember a red donut, whatever it is, from the movie. So um, yeah, we do lots of stuff like that. And then I love a good challenge like Star Wars donuts and then my um, Game of Thrones donuts were crazy. Everyone went and wanted those donuts, they were nuts. So I just, I love a good theme. I even did a sherry pie donut. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And I, had, I launched it two days before I heard about all that, before everyone heard, so that donut didn't sell well. Oh, well, that, that, sounds, that sounds fun. So what are you doing to occupy your time during um, this vacation, you say? Uh, well, um, me and the wife were working on the Shortbread Society, which is um, a new shortbread thing that um, I'm doing, which is my grandmother's shortbread recipes. So we've been working on that. And then we've been doing some videos from home, which you can find on Instagram under Scottish Francis, um, with the banter, me and the wife. Basically, me and the wife arguing while I make food for her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the premise of the show. So, so is that your TV personality, is the, the arguing? Yeah, I thought it was the best way. Because I can't film myself, so I thought, well, I'll let her film it. She can say whatever the hell she wants, and then we'll just we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Not all of them make it to online. <laughs> <laughs> so, Francis, how, how did you come to our country? Why are you here? <laughs> and I came just before 9-11. I came here years ago, and um, I came with the American dream. I was like this little twink uh, <laughs> that wanted to, I don't know, I just came to have fun and enjoy myself and I was like a ballet dancer actor so I was like I will go to New York City and then um and then somehow I ended up becoming a nightlife photographer for Next Magazine do you remember Next Magazine yeah oh yeah yeah I was an, a photographer and I had my whole I had my own page every week called Out and About it was like page six so I did that for six years and I just went out and wrote about it every week and that's when I met Mel Sharon made a movie about him that Caswell was like well I could take photos I can film a music video and so yeah, just I evolve. I meet things, and I'm like, "Hey, a bowl! I can be a bowl." <laughs> <laughs> I, I I love your energy and your willingness to just jump at something and do it. You know that. Yeah. Well, we need that. And I think, you know, when this, whatever we're going through is over, I think everybody's just going to have to sit back and go, okay, I got to do something. You know, I think yeah. there's just that energy that's building up, but until that energy you builds, be, you, throw up after all <laughs> <laughs> you know, I haven't figured that out yet, but this is helping. <laughs> this is really helping. You know, it, it is amazing what it's encouraged us or forced us to do is to find something, another outlet or some way to release the energy. Yeah, so right. that's I do jest and joke about it's been like a vacation and everything, but and I guess unless you're on the front lines in a hospital or something, you really truly don't know how much of a crisis it was. Like we're all sitting on a couch and it's hard to get bored, or it's easy to get bored of this whole situation. But in the hospitals, where, um, me and my partners, we were supplying, uh, we've supplied 40,000 meals for all the hospitals, all the EMS services, and everything in the wow. area in the last two months. So we basically we sent all the last of our donor supplies out, and then my partners, they have a club with a kitchen, and they've just been feeding, 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 feeding. So it, it's been really, really intense. So we haven't been sitting around doing nothing, but kind of, it feels like doing nothing compared to what the right. doctors have done, you know? 
Well, th that's just great. And, and you're in Astoria, Queens, is that correct? Astoria, Queens. Yeah. So do you get out much? I mean, do you go out on the street? and? Uh... I, have, I have the dogs, so we have to walk the dogs. But um, I go out there. Again, there's not a, 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 I would say half and half wearing masks. I guess on the street, if you know how to socially distance, you, I get, you can get away with not wearing a mask. But when you go into a shop, like I read some guy the other day, completely read him like for not wearing a mask. In CBS, like the one place you should be, where the big pharmacy counter is, like everyone's in masks except this one guy. And I'm like, I'm like, this is where sick people come. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're just crazy. So tell me a little bit more about that shortbread show you're doing, and then you're going to make some shortbread for us. Yes. So, yeah, as I said, um, each day kind of depends if we argue too much and we can release the video or not. So but, um, each day we release a video all about um, a different dessert or something I'm making. And today I'm going to show you in your little oven there. Um, yes. Shortbread. And I'm sure the one you made are going to make looks just like this, right? Oh, I don't. I'm not sure. We'll check. We'll check. It's still uh, manipulating okay. there in my game. Govern there. Still making. Yes. Cool. All right. So I can. Do, we're going to do this really quickly. I'm going to. Yes. Do yes. Quickly. You ready for that? Yes. All right. So you can use a food processor, which is the best way to do it. Okay. So you get a food processor. I'm going to teach you how to do it just with your fingers, or with a pie. Um, this this device. You know, have you seen one of these? Yes, yes. All right, cool. So it's four ingredients. Very simple. You can add more ingredients if you like. It's like two... what? Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You have a question already? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, uh, your extra ingredients. We'll get to that after while it's I baking. We'll to eat whilst I talk. <laughs> I got two sticks of butter. We have two sticks. Two sticks of butter. Two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, and a large giant pinch of salt. You want as much, you want a lot of salt in there because it's really, really, really good to have those bubbles or those pockets of salt inside it. Okay. All right. So it would look like this. Now you're going to put it into a food processor and you're going to blend it on the food processor and pulse it for like 30 seconds to 45 seconds. It's the best way to do it. Right. And you'll get like a sand like texture. And that sand like texture. You will just pour into a pan like this, or or a round pan if you want. It really doesn't matter. the The whole process at the end is is like that sugary shortbread. All right, so you'll pour it into a pan. Oh, sorry, we'll go back to this. If you don't have the food processor, you're gonna do it with your fingers. All right, so you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna you're gonna push or the, like pull the or like 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 rub the butter between everything until it turns into the exact same texture, the sandy texture. You can also use this pie crust maker and you're just like, you're like pushing it and kneading it. And again, you will get a sand like texture. All right. So you're going to pour it into your pan when you, once you have it like that. And you, the one thing you don't want to do is do not press it down. Don't, okay. Don't. You want to keep it nice and light and fluffy. You can give it a little shake when you pour it in. All right. And of course you've had your oven ready at 350 degrees. Yes. You will slap it. No. I'm going to go stop one second really quickly. If you want to add flavor to this, for example, like chocolate chips or yuzu rind or any kind of flavor that you want. To what was it, that rinds? Did you say? Like a you like a lemon rind. Oh, okay. A, a yuzu a yuzu lemon is my favorite thing right now. You know yuzu lemons. It's this Japanese lemon. It's really really intense, really fancy from Japan. Um, and I made one over here. I'll show you in a second. I actually made three different flavors to show you. Oh. <laughs> so just before you put it in the pan, add your chocolate chips into here and like ruffle it around. Or as I said, or like peanut butter chips, if you like that, I can't stand peanut butter. All right. And then, do you like peanut butter, Amber? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nah. <laughs> I don't like peanut butter at all. It was just absolutely disgusting. <laughs> all right, I don't even know what I'm talking about. It. All right. You, you'll then put it in the oven for 20 minutes exactly. All right, now it may not look cooked. So be careful. Don't think that you should cook it longer. Okay, even if it looks really pale on top, just 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 go for it. Pull it out. Let it cool completely, and that's when you'll get this gorgeousness. All right. Okay. Well, let let's see how mine looks. I'm going into my into my um uh, my my gay tag oven here, my magic gay tag oven here, and we'll see. Oh, ah, what's Bucky Beaver doing in there, Beaver? Ah. Let's see. Oh, oh, it looks, it looks delicious. Ah, see, my magic gay tag oven even cuts it and puts That's it on a plate. Oh, amazing. oh, it. It, we say amazing, but yeah, we, un we understand. So let me taste a little bit of it. Mm. 
Maybe a little more butter. <laughs> <laughs> you ran out of butter, right? <laughs> oh, my God. That is so good. And so I made it so it's simple, all right? Oh, also, my goodness. I have the chocolate chip version right here. Ooh. So, like, you have, um, you can put chocolate chips. And also, I have this one is a yuzu. So, it has lots of lemon, um, lemon rind and also a yuzu white chocolate in there. So, you can go crazy with any flavors you like. Now, are you saying uzu? Yuzu. Y U Z U. Yuzu. Okay. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, I will have. There's so many types of lemon. You know, you have your common lemon, which we all use. <laughs> there's, but there's like 60 or 100 types of lemon. There's one called Buddha hand, which I love. And it looks like this hand and has all these fingers. So lemons are amazing. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew we knew there was so much to know about lemons? Oh, me. I love lemons. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm disappointed you don't have a kilt on today. <laughs> no, but um, I, I have a funny story about a kilt if you want to hear it. Oh, yeah. Okay. We were on MasterChef and uh, Gordon Ramsay would always rib me about wearing kilts and wearing underwear because, you know, like we're on the set and everything cooking. So I didn't want to wear anything. So for the final, I didn't wear underwear and I didn't realize we were up on the gangway, which is <laughs> it had the whole audience underneath the gangway. And I'm above, up above them all in a completely see through thing. And everyone's staring at me, Gordon Ramsay just pissing himself laughing. Right. Yeah, you had no idea. No idea. No idea. <laughs> well, Francis, thank you so much. Those are. What are you going to do with all those pans that you have there? The wife's going to eat them. <laughs> I'm going to eat them too. This is like <laughs> three in the morning. Just suddenly you find yourself naked in the kitchen, nibbling at this. You'll 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 see. All right. All right. So, uh, Francis, um, relax. I'll be back with you. We've got a little quiz going on later on with our our next guest. So, hang in there. Thank you very much. So good to see you. Yeah. Bye, buddy. <laughs> All right. Oh, wasn't well, that fun? And trust me, it is delicious, and it's very simple to make. So we'll put um, we'll put that uh, recipe up on uh, uh, my my uh, Facebook page. So look for that.